Our Facebook page exploded when a picture of an emaciated animal near Laferia went up this weekend. Margaret Smith wrote on our Action for Facebook page, it has to be illegal to neglect an animal like this one. What kind of human being can do this? Since then, Action for viewers have been demanding we take action to help that horse and get answers from the owner. Yeah, we not only get answers, but we also ask the Sheriff's Department to step in. This photo of a sickly looking horse sent into Action 4 News is enough to make any animal lover cringe. It's only worse when you see the mare in person, her bones protruding, her eyes with a glazed over blank stare. Death appears to be inevitable. The horse lives on a ranch just south of the Laferia city limits off FM 506. Some fear she's malnourished, abused, even neglected. The horse's owner, Juan Contreras, says everyone has it wrong. He lays his side out over the phone. She eats real well, drinks water and everything. The Cameron County Sheriff's Department checks out Juan's story. Turns out there's hay, there's water, and several other healthy horses on the same land. Criminally, they say there's no case. But some say Juan has an ethical responsibility to ensure the horse isn't suffering from complications he associates with old age. Everybody's telling me that he's too old. And, you know, I put injection on it. I, I did Walmart. But I don't know, buddy. I mean, I spent $200 of them every two weeks on them horses. I said, I love them, man. I can't. I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to shoot her. Juan's promised to have a vet look at the horse on Wednesday. Whatever's decided, good or bad, he plans to follow. And we plan to follow up with Juan, who's out of town on business, after the vet visits the horse to make a medical determination on her future. In the meantime, I've posted a pic of the horse on my Facebook page. Hop online and tell me what you think about the animal's condition. What would you do if you were the owner's position? To find me, just search Ryan Wolf. I'm on Facebook chatting with viewers throughout this newscast.